Have you ever made oleo saccharum or its close cousin lemon sherbet? This is the key ingredient to making your punch go from to like, oh my god! Well, you're in luck because today I'm gonna teach you not one, not two, not three ways to make oleo saccharum that's gonna make you go from here to here. Let's get started, shall we? All right, for original oleo saccharum, it only contains just two ingredients. That's lemons and sugar. Pretty goddamn easy. All right, grab yourself a scale and measure out 500 grams of sugar. Then you're gonna grab yourself a bowl on which you're gonna make one little layer of sugar at the bottom. After that, you're gonna grab eight lemons. In this case, make a little fort around your bowl like I did. All right, grab your trusty peeler and get to peeling. You're gonna peel all the lemons because the clue is in the name. It's called oleosaccharum, right? We're trying to extract all the oils from the zest of the peel. So get with it. Now this technique is a massive ball egg, takes a long time and takes a lot of manpower, but there is no substitution for real oleosaccharum. You can make this with any citrus fruit, it's freaking great, and it's super versatile. I don't trust anyone who makes a punch without the real shit. Once you've peeled all your lemons, just layer the rest of the sugar on top and grab your favorite trusty muddler, like this Cabernet Sauvignon 2016 in my case. And then just get to muddling. All the sugar is going to grind up against those peels and is going to release all of that oil. This is just manpower and time. Sugar already absorbing the oils, how cute! Later. After about 30 minutes, you are going to notice that the sugar has absorbed some of the oils from the skin. All you're going to do is mix it up, muddle it again and let time do its job. Much later. After about an hour later, you will notice that your mixture is actually the consistency of toothpaste. That's the golden nugget. That's what you're looking for. Grab those lemons that you previously peeled and juice them. You're looking for about one liter of juice for one liter of sugar. Grab yourself a clean bowl. Get yourself a large ass strainer. Dump all your sugary stuff into the strainer. Make sure you get everything. And then just pour the juice over your zests, capturing all the lovely little oils and essences. Mix to dissolve, simple as that. Grab yourself a clean bottle, pour it in, and then throw in a shot of vodka that will keep it fresher for longer. Now this technique will work with any citrus fruits, but the next recipe I'm gonna show you is a little bit out there as we're gonna make celery oleo. For the celery oleo, everything's exactly the same except use celery, 500 grams of sugar, 500 grams of celery, you know, make sure you layer the bottom of your pan, chop your celery first, and then just layered it up like a lasagna. Nothing changes. Peel, muddle, chop, the whole shebang. Now my secret ingredient is always a pinch of salt and a pinch of MSG. Much, much, much later. Strain it, pour over the lemon juice, dilute the sugar, bottle it, and that is it, we are done. This one is fresh and vegetable and delicious, but the next one is banana oleo. Now the banana oleo recipe I got from Eric Van Bake and he got from Richard Woods. For it, you're gonna need some fresh bananas, six in total, and 350 grams of sugar. That's it, it's a super simple recipe and that's why it is genius. Now you can just do this in a bowl, but I decided to get fancy schmancy, so I'm gonna vacuum pack my bananas. Peel those bad boys, put some sugar in a vacuum pack bag, layer them on top, and then again pour some sugar over that. And then you're just gonna toss that stuff around to make sure the sugar's touching all of the peels. Now this is an awesome piece of kit called a vacuum sealer. If you don't have one, get one. My model is about 100 euros and it goes a long way. All it does is suck out the oxygen out of the bag and that means that all your stuff stays fresher for longer. Great for infusions, great for macerations. Uh, aren't those the same thing anyway? One hour later. It's really absorbed a lot of the liquid even after one hour, but I'm gonna let this go for about 24 hours just like Eric suggested. And guys, that's it. That's banana oleo. Enjoy and thank you for watching.